there are citizens who would like to address the council. Hi, my name is Bob Cushman, 1700 Howell Street. Uh, I'm on the MCAT Board of Directors and I'd like to present our first year's statistics and the April statistics uh, this month. Uh, April saw the conclusion of our first full year of operation, a year which exceeded anyone's wildest expectations. Uh, during the month of April, a record of 148 hours of live and videotaped TV programming was presented, an average of nearly 35 hours per week, which resulted in a one-year total of well over 1,000 hours. More than 503 hours was premier programming, first run. 690 of these programs were cable cast and an unexpectedly high 55.36% of these were locally produced programmings, produced by people in Missoula who received their training at MCAT. The MCAT Community Message Board during the month of April increased hugely, largely thanks to the fact that uh, we now broadcast the KUFM public radio audio signal along with it. So MCAT's total April channel time jumped to over 250 hours a weekly average of 59 hours and 11 minutes. And while programming was clearly, has clearly surpassed all realistic expectations, it is in the area of training that MCAT has truly soared beyond its original goals. Over 600 community residents have received basic video production training in the last year. When we began, our goal, which I thought was highly optimistic and inflated, was to train 300 people during the first two years and our staff has really worked far beyond anything we could fairly ask them to work in achieving that goal. They deserve a special thanks for that. Um, also, MCAT served as a judging site for the 14th annual Hometown USA Video Festival, uh, sponsored by the National Federation of Local Cable Programmers. This recognizes outstanding local cab cable programs that are produced by or for public educational and governmental access channels. That's quite an honor for us to do that. Uh, it is local cable programming's largest video festival and is unique in that judging is not limited to technical quality and execution. Entries are also rated according to how they address community concerns, how they challenge national television formats, and the creative ways in which they approach their subjects. So MCAT's judges viewed a total of 90 entries in the categories of public service announcements and the coveted overall excellence in public accents. And our thanks go out to the judges who volunteered their services. They were Bruce Whitey, Joel Baird, John Gant, Gene Bernofsky, Pete Talbot, Tracy Stone Manning, McCarthy Coyle, Chuck Jonkel, Wendy Kern, Betty Hewen, Ammon, and Lori Hudak. Also during the month, uh, the board became, was uh, again uh, inflated to full strength, I guess you'd say, with four new board members joining the board, and they were Gary Hewitt, Meyer Chesson, Margaret Kingsland, and Robin Hamilton. Um, that's all we have for this. Are there any questions that anybody has about our first year's efforts? Okay, questions for Bob? Thank you.